Dash Dabrowski here, and this is the latest on Peter Navarro. Apparently, he is still fuming mad about being arrested, so he goes on Newsmax and Fox News to whine and complain like a little MAGA watch. At my hearing is he would not let me make a phone call to get legal advice at that point. I was denied legal advice till I got in front of that magistrate right off the bat that, yeah, like, Look, illegal aliens, everything from illegal aliens to al-Qaeda terrorists were treated better yeah. than I was that day. I get to the jail cell, and it's like leg irons, handcuffs, strip search, no food, no water, no access to anything, solitary confinement. And it's just like, I think of myself, this, this feels like Stalinist Russia or Mao Zedong Xi Jinping China. Come on, Peter. It was your president who incited a terrorist attack on the U.S. Capitol. January 6th was the closest thing to Al Qaeda that this country has ever seen. And no, this is nothing like Stalin's Russia. Your arrest was not politically motivated at all. You violated federal law when you skipped your subpoena hearing to testify in front of the January 6th committee. And speaking of the January 6th committee, we are going to be airing live 24 seven coverage of the entire hearings. Why? Because Fox News and Newsmax have decided not to cover it. They say that their viewers are too distracted with high gas prices, even though 207 Republicans voted against a Democrat Biden bill that would have prevented gas companies from price gouging. So while Republicans are voting to keep gas prices high, they are doing it also, I guess, to distract their viewers from the January 6th hearings. So guys, that is why we are going to expose all of the GOP criminals who incited, plotted, and facilitated a deadly coup on the United States government. Tune in this Thursday.